Good morning. Good morning. Today is our checkout day. No. Or as I like to call it, Tim's stressed out day. Oh no. I have well, this thing where if there's like a definitive time, like our checkout time is 10, which is like kind of early. Usually it's around 11 for hotels and things like that. But because it's a house, it's at 10 because they need to get people in here to clean before the next people show up at four. So I freak out on mornings like this I know. because I know that there's like a lot to do. And also it's a house. So things are spread out more. Yeah. So like we started packing last night and I got everything from the pool near the car, but there's like a specific order that things have to go into the car. Right. So like I need like luggage first. And we're all, we're all pretty much packed <clears throat> up. Yeah. But so I like, I don't know, in mornings like this, I'm like, we got to do so many things. But and now like, while you're doing this, I'm going to go run downstairs and continue. Cause you already started breakfast. Yeah, so I'm going to go breakfast. continue it. And then we have to do the outside stuff and our friends went and grabbed some coffee. So I think we'll be okay. I think we're going to do it. Yeah. I think we will too, but it's just like, I, I look around and there's still just stuff everywhere and I'm like, oh gosh. Okay, well let's, okay, I'm gonna go run downstairs. Let's go see what Jackson is doing. He's with Lynn. But this has been, this was such a great week. Oh, I loved it. What? Before you go down there. What? You know what Jackson said to me this morning? What? He said, what's happening? I said, we have to pack up. And he said, why do we have to pack up? It's because we have to go home. He said, no, I don't wanna go home. <laughs> and then I said, what? He goes, I'm going to stay here forever. <laughs> and I said, me too. Me and, too. And then I said, don't worry, we'll come back. And yeah. I said, what if I try to find a house with a more fun slide? I don't know if we could do that. You never know. <laughs> yeah, but he, this was a great week. He loved the, the pool. We loved the pool, the ocean. Um, he loved seeing the cousins. The food on the island is amazing. This was great. I like never want to leave. What are you eating? Waffle. Waffle! I'm going to make some eggies, okay? All right, so while, I, while they are reading books and eating waffles, I'm gonna make some eggies. Okay, so we're almost done with like the mad rush of trying to pack everything up. We just need to take the last of the trash. We got the dishes going, we're packing up the car. We had breakfast, I made some pizza eggs. I was trying to push my pizza eggs on everybody. I think they like them, I don't really know. <laughs> Jackson is making puzzles with one of our friends. What's your puzzle? What is it? It's a race car? Oh, and you already yeah. made the school bus? What was that? Siri. Oh. <laughs> Siri's helping. Wow, bud, good job. There we go. good you're job. making that one. You're just making that one? All you're doing right. such a good job, bud. I'm gonna go check on daddy, okay? All right, and then let's see how Tim's doing. Still freaking out? Yeah. Why? Because, is there anything else to go on? Just little stuff. I'm gonna get bored on the road. Oh, okay. So our friends came and met up with us and they very graciously said if we can't fit anything in our car that they will put it in their car because they live right down the street from us, so. Whoa. We didn't even buy that much stuff and the stuff that we it's did buy. Groceries. Oh yeah, I don't know why we went so crazy on groceries, but I we did. Oh. Huh? Yeah, it's all groceries and I like rearranged some stuff. I really packed the front. The front is like jammed full. Let me see, open it up. It's the thing about the frunk, it's like, oh, I have this extra, this extra trunk space, but it's so tiny. It's not very big. I mean, I guess it's big enough, but it's still, I thought it was going to be like so much extra space. Yeah. I wonder if I've got room underneath this thing here. For what? Oh yeah, I got some room there. What are you going to put in there? Oh, let's find something. <laughs> Just yeah, shoving stuff, stuff down there. there. Oh man. All right, so we have like half an hour before we have to leave. Yeah, 20 minutes. So it's like time to go to the bathroom, do one quick sweep, and make sure that we have everything. And then... And the golf carts are still here. They were supposed to pick up the golf carts at 9.30. Mm. Because I was thinking, oh, we'll get out of the... the oh yeah, because we parked the golf carts in front of the garage. There's always something. Oh yeah, I forgot the ice cream. But luckily, there's that space underneath the tent for it. It's perfect. Oh yeah, that's right in the front. So, I think, yeah, we gotta get out of here. We got like 10 minutes before we have to leave. This is what I call by the skin of our teeth. I think this is how we always do it. <laughs> yeah, but it feels pretty good. Like, we got everything, I think. I checked every drawer, every closet, every refrigerator. There's only, there's two refrigerators. I got some watermelon from outside that we forgot. Oh, okay. Did you um, toss it? No, I kept it. Oh, did you? Yeah, do you want me to throw it out? Was it good still? It was in the refrigerator, it looked fine. Okay. 
We'll see. If we get home and it's bad, we'll throw it out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a great week. This was really so wonderful. Enjoyable. Yeah, it went by very fast. Yeah. I can't wait to do it again. Right? So this when was also- When can we do this again? This is also our 11 year wedding anniversary trip oh, that we do every year. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> the, uh, you know what Jackson said to me this morning? Do you want to tell the story? No. He said, I said, what are you doing, Daddy? I said, I'm packing up. We have to leave. He said, why do we have to leave? And I said, well, because we have to go home. That's where all oh, of our wait, stuff Oh, wait, we did. Is. Yeah, we did tell you guys this. And he said he wanted to stay forever. I want to stay forever. He loves the beach. He loves this house with the pool. Yeah, he loves the pool. So. He likes our pool, and he goes swimming every day in our pool, but our mm -hmm. pool doesn't have a sweet slide. It's very true. So. But now, I think we do have to head out because there looks like there's weather coming in, so we want to try to beat that. Yeah. All right, so what now. What they say. They say the weather outside is weather. Now we have a two-hour drive. Two and a half hours. Oh, okay, so let's go do it. That's a hot one. Oh. It has like a little, it's too far away for me to see, but it has like a little guy on the back. Little sharks. Whoa. It's like a shark going through it. Oh, a shark, wow. So we are currently in the car, we're driving back home now, and I never got to go to my vintage store, we just drove by it, so I guess we'll have to come back. Oh, darn it. <laughs> there was another store that looked really cool too that was called Art on AMI and I would be curious to see like what kind of like I'm, I think it's local artists so I'd be curious to see what kind of cool beachy art they have in there so although we do have a lot of art at the house that we bought at like the Disney art festivals that we never hung up so <laughs> maybe we should do that first what's that sometimes trees get blown over with hurricanes and things like that <laughs> it yeah. is. He's asking about the palm trees that are sort of wiggly looking. He's like, why are those leaned over? And yeah, look at that guy. He must have been through a hurricane. over here to our left, but I don't think we're actually gonna run into this it's storm. Here, it looks much oh yeah. This way. It does look it pretty scary. It's, I don't think it's gonna rain again, buddy. Oh, well, the sun just came out. You see it? Yeah. We've got about an hour left of our drive. Here's what the radar looks like, but I think, because you see how Orlando's over there on the right, I think we're not really gonna, we're gonna skirt the storm, I think. Yes. But it looks pretty bad. All right, we Jackson stopped at- saw a blue sign. <laughs> he, and said, he said, what's that? I said, it's a rest area. He said, can I go to the rest area? Or he said, what's a rest area? We, we said, it's a place for you to go pee pee. So now we're here at so the, rest at the rest area. area. And we told him that the toilets might be made of metal. So he's very excited to pee pee in a metal toilet. <laughs> Is that a metal toilet in there? You excited? <laughs> Should we give him a tour of the, the rest area? Oh, I don't know. If you want to. <laughs> I'll probably get a snack too. Where is this one just uh vending machines? Yeah. Ah, okay. You ready, bud? I'm ready. I'm ready too. I gotta go. Okay, so actually these bathrooms are pretty nice. And then I was gonna show you that the toilets are metal. So Jackson was very excited. What is that? Attention. So you can a come here. Oh no. You can get some snacks too. You can go to the bathroom. What? There's snacks you... here? Yeah. So you're supposed Ooh. to show me. <laughs> They have an ice cream machine. It's like a claw machine, but for ice cream. Ooh. I would get this one. These are the best. Oh, or the orange cream one I would get too. No, I had a Klondike, Klondike bar though. Whoa. Sodas. Well, oh, this one. Hot Mountain Dew. Is that what, the, really? That's what this is. That sounds horrible. Yeah. I've got some good, uh, good, good choices in here. Oh, there's a coffee machine. This reminds me of when we were in Japan, except for I bet this is not as good as the Japanese, like instant coffee vending mm. machines. Need a sun pass. Oh, that's fun. Twizzlers, Twizzlers, and a sun pass. And a can of Vienna sausages. Oh, that's weird. 
Wow. Huh. So there you go. Oh, and then they have, of course, like all the energy drinks because in case you're like driving a super far distance. Got these little flowers to look at on your way out. They also have, I don't know if you can see over there, but there's like these picnic pavilions. They're all covered and they just have like little individual picnic tables and trash cans under them. So you can come get your Vienna sausages and have a little picnic here at the rest stop. Also, there's a little dog walk area over here for you to walk your dogs. Oh yeah, it's pretty nice. This is a nice rest stop. So the other one, the Turkey Lake one that we've been to, that one has like actual like proper restaurants. Yeah. This one's more of like a snacking one. See, that's the difference. This is called a rest area. That's called a service plaza. Oh. Because that also has uh, gas and stuff that you can get in your car. Oh yeah, you can't get that here. Yeah. So wait, where are we? Um, Lakeland? I don't really know. Oh. I thought that they would say somewhere, right? I know, there's not like a name. There should be, oh, maybe over there? What does this sign say? So this is the Polk County Rest Area. Eastbound. Eastbound. And down. <laughs> so there you go, that's where we stopped. All right, and now we're back on the road again. On the road again. Now we're back on the road again. We've got about 56 minutes until we get home. Making music with my friends. Oh yeah. I can't wait to get back on the road again. Well, have I got news for you. What's we're that? back on the road. Oh, let's write a song. <laughs> we're about 38 minutes away from the house. We're stuck in a little bit of traffic because I think we're near Champions Gate, I think. Yep. That's the traffic that's always fun to be near Champions Gate. <laughs> Jackson's just watching roller coaster POV videos. Which, which one are you watching? The dragon one. The dragon one. Where's the dragon at? On the front. No, where is dragon at? On the front. No, it's at Legoland. Uh, it's Legoland. Yeah, we gotta go back soon because you're almost tall enough to ride the dragon. How tall do you have to be, Jackson? Two. Two. <laughs> gotta be 40 inches tall. Uh, do it again? You wanna watch it again? Yes. Okay. All right. So we've been home for a little bit. It is sometime later. We are eating some dinner. I did all the laundry. The la well, I've got the, the laundry. All of the laundry is in the wash. Just waiting for it to dry so I can fold it and put it away. And then I'm making dinner for us. So we're just gonna have some, I gotta put more spaghetti in here, but I have two different kinds because I'm trying to use one up. So this one cooks for a little bit longer than this one, but we're just gonna have some pasta. I am also making a salad with just like whatever I have on hand. So I had some olives, I have a little Parmesan cheese left, got some croutons, a tomato, and then this was the lettuce that we brought back from the beach. My battery died, but I got all the rest of the pasta in there. I've got some meatballs cooking up in the toaster oven. And I feel like this is just the way of when you come back from vacation, you just kind of like cook what you have. So <laughs> we just kind of all ate just like what we had on hand, which wasn't anything too super exciting because we didn't go grocery shopping before the trip because we went grocery shopping while we were at the beach. And I didn't want to have a bunch of food go bad, you know, because we weren't here for a week. So I don't know why it's focusing. There it goes. It was like, here's my fridge. <laughs> um, so, so that's what we're doing right now. We're doing some dinner. Tim and Jackson are watching Bluey season three. We found it online, very exciting. We're eating some pretzels, because we love pretzels. I a popsicle now. Oh, and also he wants a popsicle, but we told him, you can't have a popsicle till after you have your dinner. So yeah, so that's what's going on right now. I feel like it was a pretty um, eventful but uneventful day because we were trapped, most, most of the day we were traveling like this morning and then we got back home and we tried so, we got home at like 1.30 and we tried so hard to get Jackson to take his nap, but we missed the window. So I know in the last home vlog that we, uh, like right before we left for the trip, we kind of talked to you guys about how he may be ending his afternoon nap. But I think what it is, is that we, if we miss the window, so if he goes to bed past one, he's not gonna take his nap. I think that's what happened. So we gotta really stick to the routine. Today was just hard because we were driving, so. So there is that. But I have a feeling he'll sleep really good tonight. That's what, that's what I'm thinking. And I will too, because I'm very tired. All right, so here is a look at the little salad that I made. I got some pumpernickel croutons from Publix. They're so delicious. A little tomato, a little Parmesan, a little olive oil. Oh, actually that's what makes this salad so delicious. I think I've talked about this before, but this dressing that we got at the Blueberry Festival from this Agoda Greek Gourmet 
this is, I don't know if it's supposed to be a dressing, but that's what I use it as. And it's got olive oil, red wine vinegar, Greek oregano, and garlic. It makes salads so delicious. I love this stuff. And I forgot to show you our pasta dinner. It's got a few different kinds of pasta in there. Some little meatballs. And then I just made some like garlic Parmesan butter bread. All right, so we are back home. It was quite the travel day. Like <laughs> a lot of rain and traffic. It was exciting. It was. We never really usually stop at like rest stops either. So that was like a fun. Jackson really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was, we never really show a lot of our actual travel. So I figured it might be kind of cool to show you what it's like driving. Yeah. You know? In so. Florida, especially in the summertime. Yeah. Because that's what it's like. It's <laughs> rain all the time. But it is a few days later, and we wanted to kind of show you guys our little island haul. Yeah. Some of the things that we bought at some of the little shops that you saw around the island. I don't know if we showed you every shop that we went to, but we'll show you all of the things that we got while we were on our trip. Right. So on our shopping day, the first place that we stopped was a place called Pink and Navy. Mm -hmm. And it was just like a fashion boutique. It was very, it was very beachy. It was very like small boutique. They didn't have a lot of sizes. Everything was like small runs of things. They had a lot of cool t-shirts and cool, just like home goodie type stuff. Lots of Anna Maria stuff too. Yeah. So uh, the first thing that I got is not exactly Anna Maria, but I kind of <laughs> liked it. It was like very vintagey looking. And that's this shirt right here. It's from this brand, Burmese? Yeah. I've never heard of it. I don't know. I like it. It's just like a cool vintage looking print to me. It's also super thin. I bet it's going to be so comfortable. Yeah, it was, it's nice. And this was $65. I think this was like our big splurge. <laughs> yeah, that's just sort of the way that it is at some of those boutique style places. Yeah, that's true. But while we were there, we also found this, I think was like my favorite thing that we got because we got matching shirts for Jackson and daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It says Anna Maria Island on it. It was so and cute. And it's from Manatee snorkeling. So the cool thing about this is that we saw a manatee at the beach and Jackson was so like in awe he was like i want to go see the manatee he was really excited that we saw a manatee in the ocean yeah so this is like the perfect shirt it called to us we had to get it i will say manatees don't wear snorkels though no but they should they should how cool would that be yeah <laughs> so that's a fun a fun little um thing for for daddy and jackson and i feel like i'll wear the shirt sometimes too yeah it's also super soft did you feel yeah this? it's like one of those vintage like really thin it feels like pajamas so at that same store i found i didn't find any clothes while i was there i feel like i have way too many clothes and then i ended up buying stuff at another gift shop anyway but i found this it's a candle can they see it yeah it's called beach blossoms and it's from a company called Bl blossom and born I think is the name of it. Blossom and Burn is the candle. Oh, Blossom and Burn. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so this one was Lemon Blossom and Sea Mist. And it's made in Bradenton. It's like a small batch candle company. It smells so good. It kind of reminded me of the same smells. It's very nice. It's so like fresh, but also earthy. It kind of smells like grass, but also like clean. Um, and then a hint of lemon. It's so, I love this scent. So if you can, I don't know if you can find this company, maybe try looking them up, but it's Blossom and Burn Co. And this one is called Beach Blooms. Did I say that before? I might've said Beach Blossom. Oh. Beach Blooms. And so this one um, was $26, but it, it reminds me of the candles from, that we got at the farmer's market a while back. It just smells so fragrant. Yeah. I can't wait to burn it. I was waiting until we filmed this video to actually burn the candle, so now I can. Yeah, we're gonna light it up today. Very excited. Uh, and then what was the next store that we went to? That was it for that day, but that oh. night we did go out to dinner at a place called the Beach House. Yeah, so I'm actually wearing one of the little shirts that I got. It says Beach House Anna Maria Island, and it's just a tank top. It's just like, but it's very um, comfortable. It also kind of feels like pajamas. Ooh. And then while we were there, I also got another tank top. I said I wasn't going to buy clothes, and then I did. <laughs> but well, these are cool. Like I love the, it looks kind of like retro, kind of vintage. I like it a lot. But yeah. while I was there, I have this thing right now where I'm obsessed with hats. <laughs> So I got a beach house hat, but I like the color. I thought the color was kind of fun because I don't, I definitely don't have a hat this color. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's neat too, because this is like a, an homage to the company Patagonia. 
Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I, I liked this because it seemed so familiar. But it just says, Beach House, it's a vintage-inspired cap for a relaxed lifestyle. Ooh. Yeah, I love it. Sounds very beachy. <laughs> Oh, and so then speaking of hats, we also went to another shop when we went to the ice cream store and we went to the shop next to the ice cream store and I bought this hat, which is another legacy hat, but I love the color. I thought this one was so fun. It's like gray and kind of like a weathered red and yeah. it just says AMI, Anna Maria Island. And I wore this hat like all throughout the trip. I wore it in the pool. I wore it out to eat. I love this hat. It's cool. Yeah, it's and I so like that, comfortable. I like that as you, the more you wear it, the more vintage it looks. This is probably one of my favorite purchases. So the last store that we shopped at was actually the gift shop at Jenny and Janie's, which is where we had, we had lunch there one day and breakfast there one day. And it just has this really cool, like kitschy gift shop to look at kind of while you're waiting. Right. It and, reminds me of like, like Boho Beach. Yeah, it's very eclectic there's a little bit of everything there's art there was furniture there were there was clothes jewelry books lots of um lots of books actually so while we were there i found these really pretty bracelets over by just by the register and they all have different like crystals and different meanings so i bought a couple to give to the girls that came on the trip but also one of my friends that was supposed to come on the trip that couldn't make it so I picked one for myself as well. And mine, they all mean different things. So mine is trust the universe. Trust that the universe will give you exactly what you need at exactly the right time. And it's just this cool company called Lotus and Luna. And I got some other ones that are, this one is you are magic, you are limitless, you are powerful, you are magic. And then this one, is um it's the create your own sunshine it says some days you just have to create your own sunshine and then another one that says stay wild moon child like the moon we go through phases but always remain whole be present through the journey and stay wild moon child so i just thought these were like fun little gifts i could give out to um the girls that went on the trip and yeah. I don't know. I love them. They're going to be kind of like friendship bracelets. <laughs> and I like that idea. I like the idea of like wearing something that means something. Yeah. So the whole thing behind this brand is wear with intent. So yeah, so it does. It means something. Yeah. But yeah, I thought that was really neat. And that's just kind of like the vibe of the gift shop. It's very like crystals and candles and local art and that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then so the cousins did come and stay with us for a little bit. Yeah. And while they were out, they did a little bit of shopping too. Mm -hmm. And they bought Jackson this little pelican. <laughs> I thought it was like really cute. a little cute. like beachy pelican. Yeah. Look at that. He's wearing a little bow tie sideways. He's very fancy. Yeah. <laughs> he's cool. He's from a... Oh, he's called the Preppy Pelican. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> there he is. He's a Preppy Pelican. Okay. So yeah, so that was everything that we bought on the trip. We had a lot of fun shopping around at all the little gift shops and... It was a good way to spend, spend a rainy day. Oh yeah, because that's that was mainly what we did on the on the rainy day. The other thing that I really liked about that is that we we haven't really done that in past trips. We just kind of look at the gift shops and we're like, oh, we should go there one day and then we never go. So this trip we actually did. And, and there are a lot more gift shops that we didn't even get to that we wanted to go to. I really wanted to go to, they have an olive oil store that's like all artisan flavored olive oils. And I like really wanted to go in there and it started pouring. So we were like, oh, we better get back home. Um, so next time I will go to the olive oil store. <laughs> And there was like a beach vintage store. Oh yeah, that we drove past to get to, I think to get to Publix. Yeah. Um, we never stopped in there either. So next time there's some other stores that we're gonna go into. Oh, and there will be a next time. Cause this is our favorite beach to go to. It's just so relaxing. And you'll hear a lot of people say the term, I'm on island time. Yeah. It, Anna Maria Island embodies island time. Everybody's on golf carts. The golf carts all max out at 25 miles an hour. <laughs> so like, if you're trying to get somewhere, you're not going there fast. Well, and you, and you honestly, you don't want to. There, it's not like a speed around, rush through things place. You really do kind of like savor every moment. And I think that's one of the reasons too why I love the island so much. Because we've been to other beaches and we love other beaches in Florida, but this is just the one that feels the best. Right. Yeah, so yeah, I, we, we will be back for sure. So all in all, we had a fantastic time. We, we always enjoy going to Anna Maria and love the beach. Yeah. I love the beach. Jackson really liked the slide. Yeah. <laughs> so like more often than not, he's like, 
I'm going to go down the slide. We're like, you want to go to the beach? He's like, slide. But we did have a lot of fun in the ocean um, a couple of days. The cousins had a great time. Our friends loved the beach. I think that was one of the one of my favorite things was just sharing our favorite place with friends that had never been there. Yeah. And um, we, yeah, it was amazing. The pool, the house was amazing. The pool was amazing. The beach was amazing. It was great. Yeah. And I will say we did pick a little bit more of an expensive time to go to Anna Maria because we wanted everybody to be able to come yeah. and the cousins were out of school. And so when kids are out of school, prices everywhere go up. Yes. Yeah. So. But I think it was worth it just to be able to spend that time with friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic trip. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay the price. price.